Okay, so just one about mixed mesh equilibrium, right? Yeah. So say that we just take an example like um, And I think I'm going to know. Four, one, um, six, three. One, two. Mm, something like that. Okay, so um, what are the pure Nash equilibria of this game? So if two does A, what's the one's best response? So two does A, what's one's best response? Uh, one plus B. Oh, so if two plays A, the one is choosing among four and one, right? So which is the bigger number? Four. Right, so one plays A in this case. So two plays A, one plays B. You can pull up the chair if you want, you know, to lean over so much. Okay. If two plays B, what's one's best response? Uh, six. Right. Okay, if one plays A, two's best response is going to be... So if one plays A, two is choosing between the five and the two. Two's best response is what? Five. Yeah. If one plays B, two's best response is? Four. Right. Okay, so the pure Nash equilibrium are going to be what? It's going to be pretty good. A to A and yeah. two B, white, white B, two B. Yeah, very good. Okay. So now let's do the next one. So to find out if there's a mixture, we do this thing with the P's and the Q's. So we we'll call that, we said that one plus A would probably be P, and B would probably be 1 minus P. And 2 plus A would probably be Q, P would probably be 1 minus Q. Okay. Um, now do you want me to do the whole thing with a box and all that stuff, or do you want to just do uh, the just the equation. Okay. So um, the idea is that to find the P and Q, you figure out when person one is going to play A, one is, they're, they're expected utility from A and expected utility from B, and you set them equal. So person one's expected utility from playing A, okay, given that person two plays A with probably Q and, and B with probably one minus Q. So what's his expected utility from playing A, person one? Well, he gets four with probably what? Four Q. Yeah, and then so it's four Q plus three times. Uh, one by mm -hmm. Q. Yeah. This number is going to be what? 4q plus 3 minus 3q, which is going to be equal to, I think, um, q plus 3, I think. Hmm? Sorry. You're, you're slowly acting into the actual alpha equation, right? Sorry? You're slowly acting into the actual alpha equation. Right, right, yeah. This is just algebra code for here. Yeah, exactly. Okay, so let's do person 1's expected to live in playing B. So what's that going to be? So one's, if he, one plays B and then two plays A would probably be Q and B would probably be Q. Q plus uh -huh. four times mm -hmm. one by two. Okay, no, so if he gets, what, what are person one's numbers here? If he plays B, then one's getting payoffs, what? One and six, yes? Yeah. So it's one times, gets one with probability Q, yes? Or Q. Plus what? Uh, six. Six times. One minus P. Right. Well, one minus Q, right? No, one minus Q. Yeah, so he's getting playing one, and he gets he gets one with probably Q, and six with probably one minus Q. This number is going to be Q plus six minus six Q. Right, so it's Q. No, six minus what? Five Q. So to find my switchover probability, I set these equal. I have Q plus three equals six minus five Q. And I get 6q equals 3, and therefore q is going to be what? 6. Mm -hmm. Right, very good. So my q is going to be half. And the red is only for uh, uh, player, the first player, correct? Mm -hmm. Yeah, so what I'm doing is I'm solving for the zero probability for q. Yeah, and then I found q is a half, and therefore 1 minus q is 1 half. So I'm, so, so I'm getting these numbers up here. Okay, is that right? Yeah. Oh, okay. uh, if uh, Q is one half, mm -hmm. one minus Q should equal one minus one half or mm -hmm. negative. Yeah, so <coughs> one, if Q is one half, one minus one half is going to be what? Just one minus one half. 
right? So if I put this over the denominator, it's not like this. Right? Clear? Yeah. yeah, so this is going to be one half. All right, no one half. Yeah. Okay. Okay. All right. Let's do now for P. For to solve for P, I look at person two's expect utility from time two A. What's that going to be? Well, he gets five with probably P and one with probably one minus P. Yeah. Yeah. So, um, um, let's see. So, his expect utility is going to be what? Five P. Yeah, five P. So two. Times one P. No, it's not two, right? If he plays A, right, given that he's playing A, he's getting either the five or the one, right? He's not getting this two, right? Uh, it's this one times one minus P. Well, right? so I mean one times one minus P. Right, so this is going to be five P plus one minus P. This is four P plus one. Right? Let's expect person two to expect you to leave from playing B. This is equal to what? If two plays B, then what does it expect you to leave? Two P mm -hmm. plus four times one minus P. That's right. This number becomes four minus two P. Right. So set them equal to each other, and then I get what? Four P plus one plus four minus two P. It's gonna work. Let's see. It's gonna be six P equals three. Right. Well, this is gonna be a half two. So P equals one half. Okay. So we don't have a fit fit. Yeah, just have to make uh, it Yeah. Yeah, okay, that works. So P is one half, then one minus P is gonna be what? P one half? Yeah, very good. Okay, so down here, so this is gonna be one half, half here. So for to write this down in words. So you want to what the thing uh it could relate to the coin class. Yeah, yeah. The yeah. coin class is always a fifty-fifty. Uh, That's true, exactly. Fifty-fifty uh, outcome. Right. Because we have head and tail. Right. You can have head five times, right. but unless you're still end up with a fifty-fifty right. outcome. Right, right, right. Just like certain areas in genetics. Right, right. Yeah, that's true. Yeah, there's. I mean, the randomness the idea is like you know, the reason. Why people think about mixed Nash equilibrium is because there are many situations where it seems like people actually do randomize. You know, like the penalty kick thing, or you know, you, there are certain strategic situations where you don't want to be always doing the same thing, right? You want to randomize. So these are those kind of situations. So that's kind of what, like in poker, it's a similar kind of thing. Like you, um, you don't, you don't want to always be too conservative or too aggressive, right? So if people, if you bid really aggressively, then people will know you always bid aggressively. And hence, when you bid aggressively, they'll just fold, right? But if you're too conservative, then how does this work? Yeah, if you're too conservative, then um, you never want, then you'll never be able to be in the big bets, right? So you, you kind of, in other words, if you're too conservative, you'll always fold out easily, and you'll never be able to succeed with a bluff, right? So you want your bluffs to work sometimes, but not all the time. Right? Football can play away. Yeah. Make sure it's football. Yeah. Yeah. You don't want to play to. Uh, you don't want to go off the side to to. Uh, yeah. Too often, yeah, otherwise yeah. Yeah, your, exactly. your right. opponent will right, right. focus more on the side. Yeah, exactly, exactly. Right. That's why you want to theory to go on left side, right side, middle, right, right, right. or even uh, fake right, right, certain right. maneuvers. Right, right, right. Exactly. Okay. So anyway, so how do I do this? If I write this as, as a, um, I saw I found that p equals a half, so q is a half. So my Nash equilibrium, my next mixed Nash equilibrium is going to be. Um, so one plays one A with probability one half, plays one B with probability one half, and then so that's my P's here. Two plays two A with probability one half, two B with probability one half. That's from these Q's here. And that's that's my mixed Nash equilibrium. Okay. Yeah. If we're uh a uh, basic strategy of, of looking at the data. For example, when you start a problem, we move from left to right, mm -hmm. then we move from top to bottom. Mm -hmm. So, okay, I don't understand the question. So, 
is there a, is there a one way to find the next national equilibrium oh, I in see. terms of the data itself? Oh, I see. Yeah, okay, so, right. Um, there's no faster way of doing it than what we did now, okay, in the sense that there's no, like, one way to sort of see it quickly. I mean, the reason, I think I understand what you're saying, person one is controlling the, <coughs> the row, right, so one cares about these red numbers, right, and so one is, in one's expected utility calculation, the person, what one gets from A is this f sometimes four and sometimes three, right, so four, so he gets the four times Q plus three times one minus Q, right, that's where this number comes from. Right? If you played B, then you'd get the one times Q plus six times one minus Q. So these equations, I mean, so, so these numbers, this is the expected utility from A, this is the expected utility from B, okay, we set them equal to each other, okay, and you solve for Q, that's what we've done here. There's no fast way of doing that, mm. essentially. There's no, um, and you just have to sort of remember that, you know, this four times multiplies by the Q and this three times one minus Q, right? Bec that sort of makes sense, right? Because one cares about the red numbers. This is the expected utility from playing A, so it's four times q plus three times one minus q. From playing b, it's one times q plus six times one minus q. So that's how you do this stuff. And then you just have to kind of remember that for two, two cares about these numbers, right? So two's expected utility from playing a is five, we probably p, and then one probably one minus p. That's down here. Two's expected utility from playing b is two would probably p and four from probably with probably one minus p. That's this. So you just have to remember that. There's no kind of trick. You know, that's all. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Okay. <laughs> that's it. So all the other problems are just like that. And it's just a matter of uh, practicing again doing this thing over and over again. Yeah. I mean, there, isn't, there aren't going to be, like we talked about in class, there aren't any more s sort of complicated. There are like, you might have like a, if you had a three by three kind of mi game, then the mixed national equilibrium is much more complicated. So you would do a much more complicated kind of thing. So we we more or less in this class stick to this two by two thing. So, mm -hmm. yeah. Yeah. <laughs> okay.